we think he's wrong because the truth is that unless we have a sustainable solution that enables trade to continue between GB uh, and Northern Ireland, then we are going to have uh, issues, and that itself would become a challenge to the Belfast Agreement. So those who believe, uh, as we do, in the, uh, the hard-won peace and stability in Northern Ireland have to make the Northern Ireland Protocol work on a sustainable basis. To have a minister slapping a president down in this way, it will not, it will not contribute to a good relationship also, a relationship that we want to develop if we are to get a trade deal. I think Boris Johnson seems to have lost control of some of his ministers. And this latest uh, problem is that due to rising gas prices with a surge in demand for gas in parts of the world, this, uh, these two plants uh, have had to close because they've, uh, it's not been economic for them to yeah. manufacture the fertiliser. That, uh, in turn, uh, means that there's this big uh, shortage of carbon dioxide, which is critical for use in uh, the, the poultry industry, the pig industry, other food sectors, beverage sectors as well. So we've uh, intervened to, to basically uh, support this company with some of their fixed costs uh, on a short-term basis, just for a few weeks, so that we can keep that carbon dioxide supply going and give the market time to adjust and for other supplies to come on stream. It's going to be in sort of, you know, many millions, possibly the tens of millions, but it's to underpin uh, some of those uh, fixed costs.